Hey guys, it's me, Waldo2413, back at it again. Today, what we're going to do is I am actually doing a material that can be used for air fresheners. So, we've got it right here. And what I'm doing, I didn't pre-cut them out or anything yet, it's just a thing. I'm going to do another video on that later, but what I'm going to do is show you guys how to use it. Literally, we're doing our bananas and pickles logo, like always. And literally, it is... These are bigger than the the paper, so it's going to have some hang out over the edge. This is just like a test. Like I said, you can use a bigger sheet of paper to do these. But we're doing that. We're going to use butcher paper on the top. I will link that stuff in the video where to get it. Butcher paper super cheap. Get it from Amazon. Do not buy it from people that buy it and resell it. Um... There's no need to double pay on things if you don't have to. Um, there are other people that think you need to do that. Um, that's perfectly fine. I will put a link in the bottom. I don't need people to pay me double for something that you can get somewhere else. So um, you can get it from the, there if you want. I'm not going to tell you don't buy $30, $40 butcher paper, but the same butcher paper is like $13, $14, something like that, maybe even a little bit less. And the link that I'll link in the bio down below I'll link all the products I'm using um, if I don't have a link to it I will um, or if it's a product we sell on our website I will show you how to get it from there also there's the paper sublimated really well and here is the first side as you can see it comes out really good really crisp image we're gonna do the back side now and then literally, I will show you, we're just going to cut these. Like I said, I kind of rushed, went over a little bit on the image. This is just a trial thing to show you guys. But we're going to use the same bottom one. It doesn't matter. We've got the paper flipped over. We are waiting right now because the printer is still printing. Um, I was hoping it would have printed a little bit quicker. Um, kind of missed time that one. But literally, guys, see, this is just standard printer paper there's nothing special about it um, works for the laser ones uh, I'll post what kind of paper I'm using all if you guys want to get that I guess it's just standard paper I do have sublimation paper I use it on certain things like maybe like a tumbler and all that you don't really need to you get fairly good quality it's the, the thing is is it's crap in, crap out. If you're using a low quality image, it's not going to matter what kind of paper you use. If you're using like a high resolution image and it's something, a lot of detail, you're going to mark up extremely high. Yeah, use it. Use the sublimation paper. Um, but some of the stuff, like for instance, this is a, it's a fabric based, pretty much for air freshener stuff. So it's a fibrous material. Um, so you're not going to get super crisp image, like you're not going to get all the, the fine detail because there's it's a fiber, it's not perfectly smooth. Something like a tumbler and all that, you're going to get smoother imaging on it. So on an item like that, it's worth using if you're worried that much and you had a nice high quality image. Um, like I said, we've done them both ways in the videos on the tumblers and the outcome is pretty much the same. So you don't really have to go overboard or crazy with it. Um, like I said, it's totally up to you. Um, I do get pretty close to the same image on, even on the high res. Um, there is a slight advantage to sublimation paper. Very little, you're not going to notice, like I said, on the other things. Um, the bib we did, um, we went with a low res, or it was a low res image even to begin with, and it still came out good. Um, and on course on that, we used just normal printer paper. There's no need to go crazy on the paper or anything. Um, like I said, it's totally up to you guys. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, I'll just point you and let you know what I've done and test it and try. And what works for you works for you. Um, again, like I said, I'm just trying to kill a little bit of time really quick while this is running through the printer. Um, we've already got it set. The temp is 400 degrees for 45 seconds. Um, you could probably cut it back a little bit on the temper time, adjust it a little bit, adjust accordingly to what works for you and what works for your heat press. Every heat press is different. Um, everyone's has a slight variation on temp and time. And so once you find that works for you, stick with that. 
and run with it. You guys, if you need masks also, I will have a link. We'll put them on the website. The image has just came off. This is hot off the press. Um, so we're going to do the same thing that we did a minute ago. Um, but if you need masks or anything else, tumblers, uh, shrink wraps for the tumbler artwork, we have that. I'll post a link down below also to all that stuff. And here we go. Again, guys, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, 445 seconds. And here we go. Again, this will be an air freshener. Um, these are not pre-cut up. Um, I'm going to do a video on another little thing, how to do some stuff with this material. Like I said, um, I will have them pretty much pre-cut and then not cut. And it's for depending on how you want to use them or make work with them. Like I said, here we go. We're doing front and back. Um, 400 degrees, 45 seconds. Again, guys, if you have any questions about any of the products, anything I do use, or if you have any questions on how to do things, let me know. And I will try to answer them as best as I can. Pull off the paper. Pull off the transfer paper. And voila, now we have air fresheners that are ready to go. Printed both sides. So next would be literally just to cut them up. And then like I said, we'll hole punch the hole in them. But that is all there is to it. And literally, you have sharp scissors. It's a lot better. Or use a razor thing. But this is just to show you. Like I said, use some good sharp scissors. Like I said. And then literally, you can do them pre-cut them first. So you're not really wasting any of them. I just did this just as a quick video to show you guys how to make some. Um, you might want to prepare, pre prepare for how you're going to do that. Like I said, and it'll make it a little bit easier. Like I said, that is a quick, simple one. Um, like I said, you're going to want to spend a little bit more time. Pre-cut, use a sharper object, punch the hole in the top. You'll want to line both sides up, but this was just a quick throw together to show you guys. And that is how to do an air freshener, guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up. Like, and like subscribe, and follow if you don't already. And uh, we're going to have a giveaway soon too, guys, because we hit over 500. So just keep liking, subscribing. Um, hopefully we'll get to 1,000 soon. Thanks again, guys. My name is Waldo2413. Peace out.